Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Zerg Town. Yeah, we're playing StarCraft the Broods stuff. <laughs> so, did you call it that because the expansion is called StarCraft Football or did you just coincidentally call it almost the expansion's name? Uh, I, I I was going for the expansion okay. name, but I was like, well, I don't know, it's not exactly the Brood War yet. Do you know what Brood? I don't know why the Brood was called Brood. I don't know. I I assume it was because it's mostly centered around the Zerg, but technically this was also mostly centered around the Zerg. Yeah, yeah. Did you and mention, do you remember when I mentioned the Zerg Queen in the first or second mission of the Terran campaign? Uh huh. Yeah. This is the Zerg Queen. That's yep, why it looks in this game. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> wow, that is that is that's quite a thing. We should get a. I, I almost want to see that face again when you get the chance. It looks interesting. I see right now you're dealing with Terrans. We're like, oh, we gotta, we gotta shoot you in the dick. So I'm guessing the timer is, uh, you just gotta run the clock down. Yes. I have no idea what happens if you beat the mission before then, actually. <laughs> I assume it's like usual and it, it just like it's doesn't recognize impossible. it. Yeah. But, yeah, I was actually gonna say it sounds... Like, I'm not gonna say yeah, but it's if impossible, you could cheat, then you but it sounds... Um, yeah, if you could cheat, but yeah, because 10 minutes, like, for this kind of game isn't actually very long for the but sake of winning the game. You see this? Remember, that's yeah. what they used to do. Hit the purse, I think. Yeah. Now I can do that. Now I can see nice. the vision. I remember that, yeah. Yeah. So now I can be like, hey, I see you guys. I see what y'all niggas doing. Even even though even though you guys don't have any black people, what are you racist? Go <laughs> <laughs> be racist. Get yeah. His base. Indeed, and it looks like they got some people mining. Even not though the AI many. doesn't need to do that. Yeah, not very many. <laughs> Which is <laughs> see, like if the AI actually had to to worry about resources, they'd be screwed. Cause yeah. we already saw they have like half the people you do working on resources. And I mean, I have half the people you're supposed to do. Right. Uh Yes, it was three minerals is... for. Yes, it's supposed to have three workers for every mineral patch. Well, makes sense. Though this is still pretty early in the mission, obviously. Yeah. So. And, right, and I mean. You don't need as many workers in this because you're not pacing. Right. But that's not really what you want to reach at some point. Maybe 1, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 in this case. So it's, dang, they have another base? Yeah. Look at that down there. They do. I would just destroy <laughs> that one, but I don't know if you actually have to. <laughs> I, I assume not. I assume you just get a boner from killing people. Pretty much. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's something called, like, pacifists or something, but they're kind of They stupid. still get a bonus from killing people, they just don't do it for war. <laughs> oh, wow. Jeez. That's a pretty dark view of pacifists. I don't think pacifists I've ever heard that opinion a pretty opinion dark view on V4. I think it's <laughs> even. Uh, Fuck these dark shifts in their fucking bullshit. <laughs> so they give the AI credit for the fact they can actually use dropships. Yeah, they're actually using dropships for once. And not like just no. making them stick around and be like, sup bro. No. Like they were before. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Do we... Wow, I think we need a few more additional pylons. Okay, we have the tongues. Yeah. Get them! Eat their face! <laughs> yeah, not like I can do it, Nom. <laughs> I can do it, Nom. Tentacles. Tentacles. That's why. That's why you don't mess with ton, ten tongue tentacles. You know, being a zerg not so bad. If you're a worker, you can just decide to do nothing unless someone tells you to do something. Same as the towns. <laughs> you can just stand there doing nothing till someone tells you to do something. Yeah, that like, is that is indeed true. I don't even know why I get Zerg Queens for it. Like, you just have two Zerg Queens for no reason. <laughs> and they can't do much at the beginning. Yeah, I'm not really sure why either. But look at those faces. Those sure don't look like queens. But I mean, that's just that me. That's you being racist, yeah, boy. It's me being racist. I'm just saying. 
I don't, I don't, I wouldn't do it. Just because it's a queen doesn't mean you have to fuck it. Because <laughs> it's Twilight. Oh, uh, that's, that's, that's a fair point. But, um, I don't know. Actually, I mean, to be fair, yeah, queens are usually, usually evil, um, so, you know, that's, suggest, that's why they're... That's exactly canon. <laughs> that's, that's, not, that's not exactly historically true, but I'm pretty sure it's why, you know, that's why they're called princesses, because you watch a, you watch a movie and you see a queen, and it's like, oh, she's gonna be evil. So princess. does that imply that all the princesses from Disney movies become evil? <laughs> you know, that's actually a good question. I bet that they do. I bet that, like, you know, freaking Cinderella grows up and she's all happy and then for no reason she's just like, Oh man, you, you freaking stepped on my glass slipper off with your head. Stepped on my glass slipper. You stepped on my glass slipper. My feet, they hurt. <laughs> you douchebag. <laughs> I have like a two meter class <laughs> taking pain of my foot. Shut up. Exactly, man. See, that's, she could that's, make uh, people with us. You know, she could. Ah, <laughs> uh, glass slippers sound pretty, pretty deadly. I would not recommend them. She probably done like. If, what if she slips? Does she like impale her save on them? You know, it, maybe I. I'd hope not, but who knows? Wait, you hope I, not? <laughs> I'm not sure if I hope not, but anyways, I remember back in the original fairy tales where they were all morbid, and like Cinderella's stupid whatever sisters, like freaking, did dumb things like. <laughs> I, I remember the story goes to the princess like, yeah, whoever can... This isn't the Disney version, obviously, so who's like, whoever can, like, um, fit their foot in the shoe is obviously the girl from the other night. I don't know how he doesn't recognize her face, just apparently whoever's the same shoe size works. <laughs> so it goes, and there's, you know, she has the evil steps. Okay, but if we're gonna go really back, I'm sure it wasn't the shoe size ever measuring. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, I'm sure you're you're probably right. Uh, but um, yeah. So he's like, whoever's shoe fits is obviously a girl from the other night. I want to bang her. Um, <laughs> and so you know, he's he comes to this poor ass people's house. And he's like, hey, I need you guys, this girl, and he gives him a slipper, and the evil, like, um, stepsisters, like, uh, you know, they're like, well, obviously, I want to be with a prince, that's literally the re whole reason I went to the ball, so, um, I forget what one of them does, but I remember one of them, like, their toe won't fit in, so they freaking, like, cut off their toe. <laughs> try to fit it in the shoe. To try to put their foot in the shoe. Okay, I'm getting credit for trying. Yeah, that's some Ooh. determination right there. Jeez. She looks good in this game. Totally sounds like a good guy who is secretly just trying to save his universe. <laughs> God. Kerrigan, what have they done to you? Yeah. Indeed, clearly it sounds like the best of guys. But, but, um, like, he, like, he has never an implication of being a good guy. So why did they make him a good guy? Wait, who did they make a good guy? The overblind, kind of. Oh, I didn't even remember that. I basically blocked out most of the StarCraft 2 plot. It was too dumb. It's just like, oh, you know, because there were these... The, the, the real villains were, were gonna like, try to control the Zerg. But he was like keeping the Zerg in check. It's like, yeah, <laughs> by killing everyone. Yeah... It's... It is pretty bad. I won't recommend it. 
kill our Terrans. <laughs> Save the murder. Uh Clearly. So I'm guessing now, if infested Kerrigan dies, she gives the game ends. Yeah. But hey, now we have a hero unit. It's 400 HP, 50 damage, two armor. Slow. That sounds and then shit. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like Kerrigan's pretty badass. She's one of the strongest heroes. No, I mean she's no better ship. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. There's. There's no matching the battleship, it's just too rad. Yep. You see, yeah, you can see him, so you can get good workers going. Yeah, you got a lot of workers going, and you... General, yeah, you're really building up, and... Uh, now that we've saved, now that we've waited, apparently we need to just kill everybody again. All I actually need to do is take the other command center. Now I'm gonna no. destroy everything, but... And it would waste time on the display. <laughs> Yeah, makes sense. I'm cool with just going up and smacking the command center in the dick. I'm, yeah, I'm sure they They go invisible this. like she did before. But now yeah. she gets invisible with the awesome deadly movies like boom. <laughs> wow. Boom. Uh, and then I do like her better in this game, and I'd say that even make I like I even like the wings better specifically. I guess because they're a little more obvious for the attacking like. In StarCraft 2, if you didn't play the first one like I didn't, you couldn't tell the wings were specifically for attacking. They were, you know. Like she whips people with them. <laughs> yeah. She does like a whipping sound. <laughs> oh, never yeah, fear, Simon Belmont is here. Yes. Or Dominatrix. Oh, I'm sure all the female Belmonts are Dominatrixes, probably. I mean, what else are you gonna do with the vampire wimp after you slay Dracula? Um, a guy. I don't think I've already seen the video of that. Did I feed you? Oh, yeah, no, that guy, that guy with glasses, video game confessions, he did one on the Bearmont thing. Mm -hmm. He did one. I don't know if you've ever seen the video game confessions. I actually haven't. Okay, he, it's always he takes a character and, it, and he just, like he makes like a, the most insane story of like what the character did does after his like final game kind of. But yeah, so yeah. Bayman ends up becoming like an exercise trainer. <laughs> Obviously, using a bit to like encourage people to do more exercise. Yeah, that's the best way to encourage people to do exercise. And that ends rape. <laughs> and rape. <laughs> rapes, rapes are pretty. Rape in general is just a good. It, it's good exercise. <laughs> See, it all works out. <laughs> yeah. Uh... This is a minor thing, but if I, but if I like, I'm already complaining so much about StarCraft 2. I really like the fact that in this game, every mineral patch just every time they bring in minerals, it's mm. eight. It's the yeah. most random fucking number. It's eight. <laughs> in StarCraft 2, it's five. But I'm just like. It makes no sense, but it it's just it's random, okay. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. It is nice that they didn't do a um like it is new unique for a game to not do like a nice rounded number, because admittedly I'll even admit I'm pretty certain Age of Empires, I could be wrong, but I think they always bring back ten. Yeah. They it's, mine it's ten and normally you know yeah. what I mean. Uh, but I also like about this game is that when gas runs out, it's they can stay use gas. They still can get gas out of it. It's only that they get fast gas, which like, makes it more unique to other universes that are finite. Like gas is technically infinite, hmm. but you only get three, I think, rather than eight every after it runs out. Right, right. But in Starcraft so two, it just runs out. It's like that's one of the defining things of Starcraft. I don't get why you would change that. Yeah, I don't know either. I just I'm just saying racism is probably why. They probably want all the black people to join you, Starcraft. <laughs> the black people like when the resources never run out. Because <laughs> then you can keep stealing them. It all makes sense. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, it does all make sense. It all comes round circle. Yes. No, it's I like they, I, I just want to have too many workers for the whatever. They can all just yeah. stand there. <laughs> they can they can hang out. See, but isn't this what you what you like if you get too many workers? Can't you just like shove them over and be like, give me all the gas? But 
because one guy can only be in the gas at a time. Oh, okay. So if you have this many workers working the gas, they basically just form this really they awkward They do the same line. as they do with the minimum. They just kind of stop doing anything at some point. They don't yeah. stop, but they just stand there till they get their turn. <laughs> right, right. Uh, turn-based mineral gathering. Now I can go make a new base and super speed. Yeah, super speed. Go, Zerg! Speed go, Zerg, overlord, go! At go the speed of enemies. light, <laughs> crush my, crush our enemies under your steel. Just imagine if they did like an invasion from one planet to another at that speed. <laughs> Man, the Zergs would Maybe be the least that's deadly. That's my stock of two takes like five years to take, like five years later. Uh, maybe so, but the Zerg, man, um, if that was the case, the Zergs would be the light, least deadly thing ever. Like, yeah. if this were, if this were traveling in space, I think you, I think our, our people could invent space, um, Kinda invent classic. space travel, and then, yeah. Uh. Yeah. better not doing it at all. Yep, it is indeed. And I'm doing research in this speed up. Zerg I man. Research extra view, so now I can see faster. I mean, cool. further. For the, <laughs> I can see faster. My if brain now, takes it by to see anything, he's not that fast. Uh, my brain works at like 200 FPS. But the part of this, like, for all the jokes we make about it, I mean, the Zergs have just infinite amount of transports. Yeah. Because they just can just use their transports. Their, their pylons are transports, pretty much. <laughs> you know that is that is nice. Again, completely I unique to how all the other ones work. It's just so beautiful the level of like just being able to that they came up with so many different ways to do what is like basic stuff. Like how no, how often do you have a game where your transport is also your unit building? Like how many units you can have? Like if in yes. um, Age of Empires your HUD was a transporter. <laughs> yeah. But it is pretty legit. It's it's unfortunate that I have to. And I think that's a thing. Like Age of Empires, uh, I think I already mentioned. I like the game. Uh, I'm personally playing it, but I'd say the most unique thing about the game is only really noticeable for veterans of the game. Like. You know, if you play a bunch, then you'll probably know who's, you know, who's the best race to play when you're in a water area, or who has at least advantages in here, in an area with a lot of water. So you can um, see my over those now. Yeah, they are, they are certainly faster, they're moving at the speed of a kid on a bicycle. Pretty much. I mean, <laughs> it's so slow compared to, like, some other transport, but they're not terrible. Yeah. You can use it. Yeah. And you have like 800 of them, I think you don't care how fast they move, you just move. Like, the thing is, you can just move all your troops in one go, which is really good for overwhelming. Which I guess is again, it did face you the strength of the Zerg. Zergs, which is a great thing, yeah. And I I am I am still making fun of it, but I know that it's effective fact of it's so scary and Zergs are like a legit, you know, thing. Um. It's just easy to make fun of Zerg overlords because they are funny. <laughs> also like also funny enough. Also, again, another thing I like in this game, at least if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you can't. It takes time for each to unload. Yeah, that is neat. Also, this might have been on purpose. You might not even care, but I noticed a few of those guys still have like minerals in their mouths from before. Yeah, I bet I just don't care because I've got a blind mineral with you anyway. Right, right, exactly. So that mineral was still placed in your base. I mean, I yep. don't need the minerals. I was just doing it because I didn't like the fact that my book is just standing on there. Right, makes sense. I don't like using my chickens. So they actually employ Mexican, illegal Mexican workers. <laughs> Imagine that. You know, maybe that would like. If and it'd be really sad if like illegal Mexicans turned out to be Zergs, and then the Republicans would be like, "See, this is this. We were right. Shouldn't employ the illegal Mexicans." This but is it better if they like if you do employ them? Otherwise, they're gonna go eat you. 
<laughs> well, I, I, I assume more, I more meant like if they were hiding in plain sight, then they were gonna d turn out to be Zerbs and be like, ah, going to eat everything now. Oh. Anyway, they're Zerbs, they're OP. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I guess Zerbs are pretty OP. Yeah, that Kokogan is tiny. <laughs> yeah, which is another neat thing about this game. Admittedly, Kerrigan is is indeed like normal human size. I forget if she was in the other game or not, but it seems like she wasn't really normal people size. Not in this, but I know, but but I know how she was in the tens, but I don't think you can ever put in a tens book because. Tiz expansion at least she doesn't exist. Yeah, so ah, you play as, as a, a unit. As a, yeah. And then when you put when you actually play actually you risk very different when you when you see her first part of yeah. Because so why I not? decide to kill these after all. Okay. I just wanna use my giant Speak, army of Speaking of why not, yeah. Giant army of just everything. Da 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 <laughs> Zerg attack! Initiate the rush down! Spit all of the acid! Oh, is it not acid, acid. All the needle acid! Oh, Man, I shit. wish I had needles made out of acid. Oh, oh acid, acid made out of needles. <laughs> exactly. Just like, oh, just like, we can do this! Right <laughs> Never mind. Uh, even even the mechs are taken down by our mighty needle acid, yeah, which is actually another reason. Suck. Yeah, actually another reason why it's nice to think of of it of, of like acid. Just to be fair, it was just needles. Like you know, I don't think ne I don't think no matter I don't think no matter how many needles you shoot, you're not gonna take out take the needles. If you shoot the, if, if the needle goes into the guy in the mech, then he's dead. Well, yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm not sure how fast they shoot, but to be fair, the pace of the sprite, like acid, definitely makes more sense. In this game. Just since, but still, I agree. Needle acid just works better. Explains everything. We have for 50 to sweat this base. Yeah. Though yeah. I guess. I guess to be fair, like, Zerg building is blow up, so what do I know? <laughs> Yay! America! Suck! Sucking! See, you know, guys. I've done that. No, oh, you do this. You infested it. And you can train infested peoples? Infested towns, they're quite. Infested so I'm towns. assuming they are referred to as Zerg infested towns. <laughs> uh, I already thanks. mentioned that, like, everything. Is always referred to as the race that it is part of. <laughs> yeah. Like Zerg <Zerkite> Hydralis. <laughs> right. Even though, uh, even though obviously, like none of the you, uh, not no one has crossover units. Yep. Because that's not how Star Starcraft works. There's no, you know, there's no basic militia over all races. Yeah, but if. <laughs> so what is it for to infest? Ah, it breaks a oh. pattern. It's not called Zerg Infested Town. Even <laughs> though it's that it's the only crossover unit in the game, kind of. Yeah. That is such a weird fucking thing to do. <laughs> that is really weird. Probably because they realized that Zerg Infested Terran sounds stupid. Yeah. No calculus does not. <laughs> totally Why not. Why does he have Zerg a walker? <laughs> totally, see, is it guy's totally gonna win this? Totally. He actually just, he hit my guy. <laughs> he did, he was like, I can do this, bap. Uh, I'm gonna fuck off now, and then he fucked. <laughs> and he was dead. <laughs> and then he was dead, and we all had a Zerg orange on his dead body. Uh, that sounds extremely like Zerg. <laughs> Doesn't it, though? Oh, me. I don't know. I don't know what Zerg's do. No. Are you sure you're not a Zerg? <laughs> I'm pretty decently sure. Last time I checked when I got up this morning. So this is I'll probably look... the only time I'm gonna be using um test the toes. Mm. They're not artificial. They're not artificial. 
They are expensive to build and you can only build them if you have defeated a tavern command center. Which makes them really rare. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. It's actually, like, it's neat that they can do thing, but I kind of assumed I was like, what is really the point of an infested tavern? Apparently just to have it. I mean, they, ha they are a unique unit, and they have at least. Yeah. It just uh, kind of... Normally, you don't have the stuff to make it in the first place. Right, right. Like you mentioned, you have to already beat a base, which, like, not at every mission is going to have a unique Terran base. And then it's also neat, I think you probably mentioned it, that there's different sizes for things, so... Yeah, that's what I mentioned. Yeah, again, only yeah. takes away one spook, where tanks take away four, like this is four. Yeah. And these take away two. Makes sense. Ad admittedly, um, Age of Empires, I remember, did do that, because I actually wasn't sure, but I remember, though admittedly you can, um, I think I remember that you can hack it, kind of, like, um, there are certain built. There's certain structures like rams that you can could put people into, and then you can put the rams into transport ships. So, you know, you can put people into the battering rams, and then you can put the battering rams into transport ships, and you know, yeah, have them. Right. I like how they're still lining up to do like an attack. Which is totally <laughs> yeah. not gonna work. And I'm gonna stop, guys. <laughs> That's pretty, it's pretty funny. Drop all the units! Oh no! Nice. Okay, they mostly blew up my own guys. But they, at least, as you said, they blow up really hard. Yeah. Because the damage is just really explosive. <laughs> like 200 damage in an area. Zaren sure do love their explosives. Right, it's a fast town. Yeah. Very interesting. Look how this place seems to only have wings. Like, many of you go play big wings are doing really good. But yeah. I was gonna say, I'm surprised. I actually are, like, doing damage to units and stuff. Oh, well, I mean, I still have more than enough. Yeah, you have more than Look enough. Look up. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit way too late. Yeah, the AI obviously does not give fuck about their workers. To be fair, they've already lost, but you know. <laughs> and users are like, great. Is that really you? To an extent. I'm far more than I once was, Jim. You shouldn't have come here. But the dreams. I dreamed you were still alive, that somehow you were calling to me. I was. While I was in the chrysalis, I instinctively reached out to you and Arcturus telepathically. Apparently, Arcturus sent Duke here to reclaim me. But that was then, Jim. I'm one of the Zerg now, and I like what I am. You can't imagine how this feels. So, what? Are you gonna kill me now, darling? That is certainly within my power. But you're not a threat to me, Jim. Be smart. Leave here now, and never seek to confront the Zerg again. Doesn't look like I have much choice. Poor guy. <laughs> You're bad for him. Uh, indeed, you can actually feel bad for him in this game. Though, to be fair, when she was like, when he was telling her about his, his dream, I was expecting her to be like, you fucking idiot. I, <laughs> what, what? You weirdo. You but I mean, really funny thing is because, I mean, it's not, it's not that much. Like she must have reached out to the guy who would make, let her die. Actually, right. it's a villain. Like, again, I mean, there's some semblance of a romance, but it, like, it's never that big in this game as you can really see. Right, right. It, it is there, certainly, but it's not the main focus. They like, don't... It's not like that he was gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna let you be a Zerg and kill millions of people because I love you. Right, he was like, well, I guess you can't blow up my base and you're letting me live, I guess. For the moment, I'm going to not confront you, but he's probably gonna show up again and be like, bitch, I... I you're a sir. Kerrigan, the newest and most powerful agent of the Overmind, has arisen from her embryonic chrysalis, but for her femoral powers are still not fully functional. Kerrigan must now seek to unravel the ghost conditioning 
keeps her powers in check. Once done, she will lead the Overmind's minions to complete domination over the unsuspecting Protoss. Because if, if it detects ants, I can just reset the text. It's not that good. Right. Right. Makes sense. That is a fair Sarah, point. So you watched over me during my incubation, and I am grateful to you. It is my wish that you continue your vigil, so that I might strengthen my powers to better aid the swarm. I have been unable to access the totality of my latent powers, and as such, I would like to infiltrate a Terran science vessel and uncover the secrets of their abandoned ghost projects. If I can learn more about their mental conditioning, I can undo the damage their tinkering scientists have done to my mind. Though you may be the labor servant of the Overmind, you would do well to remember that you are just a servant. You know of our grand mission, Kerrigan. Would you put your personal feelings before the will of the Overmind? Do not cross me, Zaras. I will do as I see fit, and not you or any other Seraphim shall stand in my way. Let her go, Zaras. The greatness of her spirit has been left to her, that the swarms might benefit from her fierce example. Fear not her designs, for she is found to be as intimately as any celebrant. Truly, no Zerg can stray from my will, for all that you are lies wholly within me. Kerrigan is free to do as she desires. By your will, Overmind, Seraphim. You must see that she comes to no harm. <laughs> dun dun dun, and thus we begin to see the beginning of Kerrigan being revived bad idea. Seraphrit, take these, the deadliest of my minions. They shall aid you in your search. You know he gave them to me before. They could on like it, and I was wanting to show up again. <laughs> oh, it may be uh, only two, I guess the other guys yes. got scared while I wasn't looking. I guess, yeah, they probably they probably got AIDS. There's one of those missions where I don't have to do combat, where I don't have to do base building. I uh, really like that they put them in because it, like, it, it's a change of pace. Right, right. That is neat, yeah. Because we had one with the town, remember? Early? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I was gonna say that'd be pretty intense. Uh, a mission where you don't have to do combat and you don't have any base building units. <laughs> and you're like, what do you do? You hug people. You hug people. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Hugging people with Zerbs. That's what they're known for, it's right? Just like, it's just like um, Beepers, they hug people. Yeah. <laughs> S. Kerrigan. Yeah. Kerrigan. Kerrigan being OP. She's OP. She can kill you from can't see her. Yeah. It was still pretty bad about that. I was like, I'm gonna shoot the Zerg, so I'm dead. Zergs are not good guys. Yeah. I mean, look at this surveying. <laughs> to be fair, didn't your didn't your units automatically shoot civilians when yes. you were playing them <laughs> for no reason, if I remember right? It's uh, always do it. <laughs> oh, it's just natural. It's just natural. It's just like, hey, civilians, <laughs> let's totally eat them. <laughs> no, I have been good. No, I don't think any guys are gonna get to call for help. That one guy sure was trying. He made it out the door at least. We got ripped apart by the openings. Damn, this game is morbid. <laughs> Indeed. What is it Invisible now? guy again is too OP. What is it yeah. Look at this guy. He's like, wah, wah, wah. Boop. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> He's like, no. Where's my goal? Yes. Aww. But yeah, so she she is, and it seems like her ghost powers last for a really long time in this. Yep, they do. Fucking douchebag shooting at me. <laughs> shooting you from raised platforms. Wow, do they actually have well well set up defense barriers? Yes. Well, I mean, besides the fact that they're still in way to go. 
Yeah, yeah, there's still there's still a way to get up to them, but I mean, Yeah, it, it at least see, like that the, having having that raised platform, definitely not a bad idea on their part. I mean it seems like they're doing a decent job of taking down a lot of our Seth units. Lucas. <laughs> and then there's just that worker here. Did it have fell in us for quite a bit? Yeah, well that's it goes admittedly. down by like one every two or three seconds and she has two hundred fifty. Yeah. Well that's that's admittedly pretty useful uh for us considering that it would appear that um using losing units here is pretty easy. But yeah, it's ugly. Zerglings are not that good. Yeah. yeah I can't Actually, do this thing magically knows when he's there. Ah, seriously, I didn't even know what that was that was showing up that you can attack. So she's in first and say, "Do it." He's gonna walk up to you and kill you. Ah, uh, indeed. Also, weren't you invisible? He yes. said that. <laughs> what a hacksaw. He's a hacksaw. No, he also says that if you walk in with Zerglings, rather than with her. Say, what? Uh, man, these guys, these these civilians, see, there's a reason that they have to die. They know too much. They do. Vayner's excuse. Actually, now that, that, that puts away, now that you've brought that up again with the shooting civilians, doesn't mm -hmm. it make everything in, like, Sucker 2 Vayner as impactful when Vayner is like, you kid, millions of people. It's like, <laughs> you do that too. <laughs> you do that too for the walls. Uh... I mean, okay, sure, your your commander, whoever we are, told you to do it. So actually, no, we didn't tell you to do it. You just, just do, do it, it because, <laughs> like, we could just move you next to a civilian, and so you can say hi to him, and you're like, well, I guess it's time to kill this guy. Said so Ravine with his derpy yard. He's like, what do I do? Left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, yeah, I assume it's because you had an invisible yeah. next to him. Yeah, but that was pretty funny. Pretty, pretty legit. Oh, can, uh, actually, I can, that. can I go that way? Can I kill other douchebags who were killing me? I think her invisibility might actually run yeah, out. Yeah, it does gonna run out. But she said like 250 HP, even 400 HP actually. Yeah. I was gonna ask her for it. Does the uh, energy recover when it's yeah. not used? Okay. No, oh, but I think at the same speed as it, it goes down. Right. Okay, so then in no time we'll be able to use the shield again if we really need the invisibility again if we really need to. I don't know why I called it a shield. Dude, do you guys want to destroy these? But... <laughs> They're like, nah, I don't. I don't think we need to do yeah, that. Deadly, but whatever. Not that deadly. But yeah, your pro your poor zerglings didn't really stand much of a chance. Yeah, they are zerglings. Yeah, <laughs> their their purpose does. There's a really weird part coming up. <laughs> it makes no sense in the in, in any kind of logic, but <laughs> whatever. These things, oh, those. Yeah, and they were. <laughs> Just why are they here? What is this is <laughs> up. I don't know, and it's not even like they they were just like. It's not like they were just keeping here from the looks of it. Like, you just saw them shooting at these zerglings. Yeah, because they're like, oh, they, they died like everything else does, and then you kill them. Yeah. Um, it's... <laughs> irony indeed, but yeah, that's... <laughs> I don't... I don't even... I don't even know what just happened, to be honest. Do I open the doors now? But I'm just <laughs> like, why... Just, this is like, like, every time you go into a town base, you just have zergs. <laughs> Just conveniently for your use it. Uh, yes. Indeed, they they do. At, at that makes more sense than in Suck of Two. At, yeah. At yeah, at least it makes more sense than StarCraft Two. It's Vaxies quitters. Which is fuck? really sad that it makes more sense in StarCraft Two. Actually. Oh, wait, no. Yes. She's taking a lot of damage. Okay, but you're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna. There was a man who got invisible. 
And then everyone's gonna be like, oh, wait a minute, what should we do? Uh... To be fair, I don't know how the invisibility works, but I'd assume with the way everyone explodes in this game, there'd be a lot of blood, like, all over her, but, you know. She's a ghost. Maybe she... Maybe, <laughs> maybe she's a ghost. I don't think she actually makes herself invisible. She just makes herself invisible in other people's minds. Oh, okay. They just don't. They're meant to... They're meant to like, at least that's... Because ghosts are psionics, pretty much. Mm, makes sense. Like, I don't think they actually have magical power so much as just being psionic, so they make people believe things that they don't. That and they can read minds and that kind of They can yeah. read minds and that kind of stuff. That's cool. So, I mean, it's never really explained what ghosts do. They just, they do stuff. <laughs> they just do stuff. I mean, that's what, that's what all psychics do. Just do stuff. The door is locked. Thanks Pretty for telling me he's a Zerg dad. <laughs> this is a very friendly system. <laughs> yeah. See, he's playing pretty... like so. You know that woman? She's smoking hot. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> My bun, it killed me. Yeah, that's what they probably were. Those guys explode pretty hard. Not in the, that way. Yes. I can't be there. Yeah, they they can't. They're like, we're gonna set you on fire, and she's like, I'm gonna you would stab that you. Would work pretty well. Yeah, Something. getting yeah, I'd actually assume that the flamethrower units and, and uh, they obviously for like um you know balancing reasons, but I actually assume the flamethrower units would just be like super effective against Zergs. Cause, they actually you know. technically are because they do area damage. Oh, and Zergs are swarm units, so against, like, especially if you're swarming with Zerg links, I can Yeah, see I mean, how some of the best strategies are, like, like, post sometimes have done, where, like, if you're in a corner, you have a medic, medic sound like this, and there's but an expansion they here, but the flame, like, like, you can have, like, two flamethrowers and, like, three marines and, like, two medics, and they can hold up, like, 20 Zerg links yes. or something. It was a really good placement. Yeah. Because they kill, like, five Zerg links at a time, or hit five Zerg links at a time. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. That's that's. Well, it doesn't work if the enemy is Hydra. Just... <laughs> yeah. Obviously, Hydra is working his range. He just said range. bitch. <laughs> wow, what a dick. I, mean, I know I'm like, it's Zergen or not, but hey, equality. <laughs> equality? At least call us a pastor, you dick. It's like, boof. Boof. You guys aren't really that dangerous, boy. Yeah, when I had yeah. that feeling like, we shot her with like 500 bullets! Where the fuck is she just still walking? Yeah, to be fair, their plans actually aren't that bad. Yeah, it's just she... I'm a hexer. Yeah, like... <laughs> so actually, normally just... most times... Like, normally everyone would be in that room and then they get the... And then they lock it. Yes. Yeah. It's just that this time I am... Um, I was sending them purposely out accidentally, and then they didn't get out inside. So most times they lock themselves inside with your weakness. Yeah, it's fun. I didn't do. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> the door was just being. It was. It was in shirt. It was like, yeah, oh no. You know, it'd be very useful for them if Zerx couldn't activate these things. <laughs> it'd be really useful for them if they just locked the doors beforehand because then they couldn't have gotten in there. You know, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, this is like, what, their own ship? Yep, right, it's a, it's a science facility. Oh yeah, science facility. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, there isn't much we could do if they had like one of those chambers that shut, shut, and you know, like filled with gas. Yeah. But nope. Um, they're just systems, like mostly just include flamethrowers, but into walls like that. Yeah, flamethrowers and marines and stuff. And it never no, it... sizes are always kind of weird. I don't know how big this base is. I'm saying how like <laughs> how huge it is, you know. Yeah, this lab is pretty huge. What is this, like, Area 52? I don't know, and the funny thing is it's a site. Wait, I'm not sure. It isn't actually... They, they even have a teleporter in there, let's just say that. <laughs> uh, they have a teleporter in a science lab for no reason, just because it's so big that they couldn't fit it all in. Yeah. 
They're like, you know, it might be kind of a pain to walk all the way over here. Well, it's not a teleporter. What if it says nothing in it? Right. <laughs> what are they working on besides shooting Zergs? Besides shooting Zergs. Which I don't uh, know how they even took Zergs because that's not anything good. Yeah, I'm not really sure either. Do you just like. I mean, I guess I could have used the Siamita stuff because it detracts Zergs. Oh, the stuff that yeah. I used, what? but I, right. it, but normally it attracts like an army of Zergs. So, so it's not very effective. I was assuming they, I don't know, they got like one of those cowboy wrangler guys and they like, you know, hopped on the Zerg. That's the thing. Yeah, it's clearly how you capture Zerg. How do you capture Zerg? And it's the secret to how to train your dragon. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you just hop on it and hope for the best. Not only so, flies, dot, dot, dot. I've located the records I sought. We have everything we need here. Yay! At least you don't have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Walking out of a bag would suck. Yeah, that would suck. Okay, uh, that sucks one. I'm perfect. I'm twilight yeah. color. <laughs> Your twilight color. And the Alpha Squadron was like, no, we couldn't handle it. Which is us a Duke Squadron. I don't know, he's just everywhere. <laughs> I think he is. And then there's another one of these awesome, useless cutscenes. I, I could never watch this one as a kid because I, I always got scared. Mm. But yes, this is a science facility. Just a giant science facility floating in space. Uh, so is there like voice acting or is... No, I know. But there's gonna be voice acting in a bit. It's okay. not, none of it is all that relevant. Yeah, you already mentioned that it's generally not all that relevant, but yeah, it's understandable. I can imagine there's only one cutscene, I think. I might go so far as saying that there's only like one or two cutscenes in this ga in like this game and expansion that actually have any real relevance <laughs> to the story. Uh, and mostly just... then it's just like showing the obvious that has already been explained, but just showing it in a cutscene. <laughs> yeah, it's like it more dramatic. It's kind of amusing. Nobody say this guy looks like a badass. This guy looks pretty badass. I'd put him on the back of the box. Maybe this cutscene was on the back of the box. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> he, he, he probably wasn't, though. Look at these ravines being ravines. You know what I like about this game also? Is the ravines, the arm was like more. It's it's not it doesn't look very mobile, but like in Sucker 2 it's more action y I guess. Yeah. I mean it, that's just because this is like where we again so it's based on like the always science fiction stuff, so obviously they always have some really shitty armor, but here it does look like not that mobile armor. Yeah. I I like the look of the armor, it does seem to fit the feel of the game. It's just always kind of cheap. <laughs> 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 yeah, I like that big ass yellow suit. It's yellow. The color of death. Oh, and bananas. The two. I wonder saying. if Zergs like bananas. Like, close. This is an interesting. Is that soda in there? It's beer. He was just like, thank God for good beer. <laughs> um. Best cutscene. The guy looks terrified. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's dead. And that's why I always edit the cutscene as a kid. Like, I've obviously by now seen it, but that scared me so much yeah. I edited the cutscene. Uh, that's understandable. Well, it was pretty surprising. Rather it's pretty dramatic. morbid. Yeah, His face just got, like, impaired. It did. I think the beer at least tasted good. <laughs> I assume that was like his last thought, like, at least it was good beer. <laughs> I, think so. I don't think he got much of a last thought, he was just he kinda died before he had True. much to think about. Maybe the aliens hate beer. Maybe they do. I'm not even sure why they stay on the space station, I assume they would have left his cow again. I, I assume so too. As much as I ha as much as I already like this cutscene, I have to admit that's not how <laughs> hydralists even work. It's even by not being relevant. Yeah, they just they just don't do that. <laughs> I think I just bulletproof. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's just uh, like OP in cutscenes completely. Yeah, I'm noticing that. It, like, it doesn't do anything, but like, even by having a gun. Right, and right. So, like this fan is like a guy which just completely panics. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he looks really weird. <laughs> I was gonna say, that smile looks a little, uh, ifish. I think the whole plan was to go in here, drink beer, and blow up a new. <laughs> Which, I mean, they had literally no plan to survive this. It's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. It's a little weird. I guess that's why the plan was to have the beer. I mean. <laughs> but I mean, they. they, they right now, if no one understood with they planning to die when they went in there, did they plan I... to, like, just drink the beer and then leave and, like, not die doing that? Got it? Flaunt it. <laughs> Prepare your defenses. I will come for you soon. Yep. Hey, yeah. that's, it, though. <laughs> that's actually that's pretty legit. Also, I have to say, I mean, it doesn't really explain it, and they could have just not thought of it. But my personal headcanon for that cutscene is that they did go in there without a plan to escape, like you know, suicide mission. For the last time, Zars, you question my motives and authority at your own peril. You dare threaten a celebrate? You will be the doom of us all. This guy just doesn't like us. No, it doesn't <laughs> like her. But uh, he just I don't know why, he just doesn't. Oh, uh, well, can you really blame him? I mean, you She's know. Kind of she was kind She's of a bitch. <laughs> I don't want her to be our bitch, but I guess we have to have some bitch playing this one. Okay, <laughs> this is okay. Um, but yeah, I assume that I guess they went in there having no plan. It just seems really weird to have no plan. Just, how do you convince someone to go on this mission? To go on that? So I don't know how you convince someone to go on yeah, like this. Needlessly, <laughs> needlessly so. Couldn't they just have like shot the fucking space station? <laughs> You would assume they could, but you know, maybe it was really uncost effective. That that's, but you know, then again, they kind of send marines, you know, and then nuke the place. And nuke the place. So yeah, I don't oh, even more penis before, by the way. She gained some more penis. Yeah, I really, she didn't get much more penis, but she got one more ability. Now she has all her abilities. Ah, uh, okay. I was also actually gonna say before we really get into this mission, uh, shouldn't we, should we like? Yeah. Maybe add it's... fifty minutes. I think it's good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good part. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Yep. Thank you all for watching. Take care.